first introduced in 2013 on Ducati Multistrada and BMW S1000, the semi-active suspension technology is slowly finding its place in more and more motorcycles since then. I use the term slowly because, as of now, only high-end motorcycles have this kind of suspension. This technology hasn't really made its way to the mid-range motorcycles, mainly due to the cost. So what is this semi-active suspension and how does it work? We are going to find that out in this video. But first, let's talk about why this suspension is called as the semi-active suspension. Well, unlike the concept of active suspension, which make use of electromagnetic or hydraulic ramps instead of springs and dampers to actively control the wheel's position related to the chassis, the semi-active suspension system make use of an electrically controlled damping valve inside the forks and shocks along with the springs to adjust the damping. Latest semi-active suspension systems can make damping changes up to 1000 times per second. In order for the semi-active suspension to work properly, it requires the data from different control units and sensors like engine control unit, initial measurement unit, ABS control unit, spring travel sensor, etc. and process those data on a suspension control unit. Here, we are considering the BMW system as an example, and BMW calls their suspension control unit as dynamic damping control unit. So from this point onwards, we will call the suspension control unit as dynamic damping control unit or DDCU. The DDCU uses the data to provide optimal damping for every possible riding conditions. The working of the semi-active suspension can be explained through three basic riding scenarios. Number one, in a straight line. When you are starting off normally from standing still, the DDCU unit analyzes the data from ECU to determine the rate of acceleration. At that instance, the weight transfer is not rapid so the DDCU opens the electrically actuated damping valve slowly. But if you decided to wind up the throttle, there will be a sudden weight transfer to the rear, resulting in a compression of the rear shock. Too much compression isn't good for achieving best acceleration. So the DDCU increases the compression damping on the rear shock, resulting in a stiffer setup. As you stop accelerating and settles into a constant cruising speed, the DDCU dials down the compression damping by closing the damping valve resulting in a pressure suspension setup. On a bumpy surface, however, the DDCU makes use of the data from the spring travel sensor and readjusts the damping accordingly. Number 2. In the corners During cornering, the DDCU analyzes the data from IMU to determine the lean angle. As the lean angle increases, the contact patch between the tire and the road becomes narrow. So, it is very important to keep the tire stick to the ground. A stiff suspension setup will cause the motorcycle to jump around over every little bump on the tarmac. So, the DDCU marginally actuates the damping valve and reduces the compression and rebound damping on the front forks, helping the tire to stick to the ground. But when you change the direction from one corner to the other, the DDCU takes into account the roll rate of the motorcycle from the IMU. Then it consistently adjusts the compression and rebound damping until the motorcycle sets into a corner. Number 3. Braking Braking is one of the most important aspects of motorcycle performance. Having optimal braking efficiency is vital for a good lap time. But having a wrong suspension setup can put a dent in the braking performance of your motorcycle in the form of nose dial. It happens due to the lack of proper compression damping at the front forks. In order to stop at the shortest distance possible, maximum braking force should be transferred into the tire. But during nose dive, some of the braking force produced will be lost via uncontrolled compression of the front forks. To solve this problem, the DDCU analyzes the data from ABS control unit to determine the rate of deceleration. This helps the DDCU to perform optimal compression damping at the front forks for maximum braking performance. So there you have it guys, the working of semi-active suspension system. If you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up or if you loved it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys next time, ride safe.